Hello, my name is Amrita Seti, and I'm completely honored to be part of Africa Blockchain Week 2021. I'm even more delighted to be creating a unique NFT art piece called Africa Blockchain Voice Note Art. But before we get into the art, I want to tell you a little bit about myself, the story where I've come from, but also a little bit of my art style. So I was born and brought up in Kenya, and I'm a third generation Indian Kenyan. For those of you who know the story history of it, is the British went to India and built the railway. When they went to Kenya, they discovered obviously that, you know, Kenya was a very important port because Africa, as we know, is a predominantly landlocked continent. And Kenya is a great way to access into the rest of Africa. So they took the Indians that had built the railway in India to Kenya to build that. Now, from there, a lot of the Indians stayed on and they most of them stayed on as business owners. My family actually ended up being the, some of the first Indian Kenyan lawyers in Kenya. My father, who actually ended up uh, coming from more humble means, got a scholarship to go to MIT in the US and he went to study architecture. Now, when he had finished studying architecture, most people would have stayed on in the US, especially at that time. But he was very passionate about making sure that he went back, took his skills and, to, and wanted to help rebuild the urban poor and the urban communities. So he joined the United Nations with UN Habitat. And that took us to a lot of different countries, uh, mainly Uganda, Zimbabwe, and of course, Kenya, all of which I have amazingly fond memories of. So I grew up in Kenya and went to school there until I was 18. Now, back in the day, and I do still, still think um, that's there now, but it is changing. Um, a lot of people would go straight away to international universities. Um, and that was seen really as the only way for people from Africa or Kenya or other you know, countries that within Africa to really, I would say, get that financial freedom that everybody seeks. So I went to the UK to study and I went to, the, I went to university and studied economics. And when I was studying economics, what I found was there was a real disconnect for me about the economics that I was studying and how those were being applied to the Western world and to the Western mentality, whether it was World War I, World War II within the U US and UK and Western civilizations, that it just didn't engage enough to me to how that that those economic models were matching or were able to be, you know, uh, prescribed to, you know, the African community or the country that I had come from. So I ended up doing a master's in development economics because I wanted to understand business and economic models that would really empower the communities that I come from. I ended up um, then getting into the financial world and um, went into some of the world's largest kind of, um, you know, banks and insurance companies until a couple of years ago where I decided to leave the corporate world and go to a more entrepreneurial calling. And that's when I kind of discovered my, um, or rediscovered, I would say, my love for art. Uh, because my father was an architect, I always had that very creative side in me. And I'm actually very lucky that you know, to have that kind of creative hobby. And I decided that I wanted to reconnect with that. And when I did, I found my own unique voice. And that voice came in the shape of voice note art. Um, when I created it, I realized that I had created something that the world ha hadn't seen before. So I actually did copyright it. And, you know, to explain to you a little bit around my art style, for those of you who don't know it, is I take, it's all based on sound um, and it's all based as well on storytelling. So first I say a word, where, whether it's, uh, I would say, for example, Dubai, uh, where I'm living at the moment, and I capture the shape and structure of that sound wave. And then each of the lines I draw to match the meaning of the word. And the idea is that um, I really tell that story of what that word represents. So whether it's a city, whether it's a person's name, whether it's even a concept, for example, Africa blockchain, what are the images that come to mind and what is the story that we want to tell with that? 
So I'm sure you've heard the phrase, um, a picture's worth a thousand words. So what I do is I take that and I flip it on its head and I say, a word is worth a thousand pictures. So when I created voice note art, I then went, um, you know, I, I started working within the medium, but before I became, I would say a digital or NFT artist, before I understood what NFTs were, I was working a lot to kind of create these, what I had originally created as digital pieces of work into physical forms so that people could enjoy them and see them. So I painted murals, um, I was, uh, you know, I, I was kind of creating these physical 2D images. And the way I would bring the story alive was they would have a QR code that played alongside it, which would then say the voice or the word that were, created the artwork in the first place. Then lockdown happened and COVID. And for me, it was actually a creative breakthrough. Then there was a silver lining, lining for me on that. So when I, just like everybody within the pandemic and COVID, it accelerated um, me going very much deep into the virtual world. And along my journeys, I actually discovered what NFTs were. Now, because of my background in finance, I understood very quickly and I was able to understand and grasp the concept of what an NFT was because I understood what blockchain was as well as within the banking industry that I'd come from is going from like centralized finance to obviously decentralized finance. So A, it was something easy for me to understand, but B, it was also something um, that really unlocked an element of creativity for my style of art. Because when I was creating my 2D images of um, you know, my artwork, it was static. I still needed a QR code to bring that to life. I still needed to tell the story. So what I ended up doing is actually then um, unlocking this kind of animation and, and sound that comes with the NFT. So I created um, 2D animations. Then from there, uh, I realized that um, art doesn't need to be only a visual experience. It could also be something which is an immersive experience. And so I then created this kind of 3D animation, I would say, where I take viewers out of, um, out of the page and through the art with the sound. So you travel like sound through the art piece, really immersing yourself into it. So the NFT world has been a very exciting world to me. Which then kind of leads me on to the NFT that we're going to be auctioning off at Africa Blockchain. So I created the word and I wanted to go with the word that really encompasses what uh, the conference will be talking about, which is Africa Blockchain, voice note art. Now, when I say the words Africa Blockchain, I'm sure there are lots of images that come up in your mind. And since you know, my art is all about telling stories and it's about storytelling. What I wanted to do was I wanted to tell the story of Africa, but this time tell it in a very different way about how the media has portrayed it all, you know, from, for a very, very long time. I wanted to, you know, change the tune, change the sound, beat to a new drum and actually think, what now when people hear the word Africa or blockchain and, and those words together, what images come up there? So I wanted to move away from a sort of a black and white vision of where people see Africa as, you know, poverty, starving, scarcity, lack of abundance, um, and this very black and white bleak image of what Africa is. And I wanted to create a beautiful, powerful, colorful expression and give the voice to those who have been voiceless bank the bank the ones who have been unbanked leapfrog africa out of the old voice create and get the youth the youthful voices of today so that we create a new future a new reality a new narrative so within my artwork you'll see actually um, that I talk about how, you know, freedom can be achieved by leapfrogging out of, um, you know, something that is centralized, organized, 
So going to this more DeFi space, but in a way where the youth and the talent that exists within Africa are able to create a whole new reality. I also talk about and explore the concept of the fact that it's, it's a new Africa. So there's, you know, there are 54 countries, but it's about creating different types of connectivity. And that's through things like, um, you know, the, the Andrika symbols within the Africa piece is talks about freedom, unity, diversity, transformation. It's creating its own language and for Africa to be proud of their heritage um, and really discover a new way. Yes, I put, you know, a lot of the time when people say Africa, they think the Lion King. I put the Lion in there, but I wanted to show about how the future is virtual, of VR, AR, AI, and how these technologies can help really be, give birth to a whole new narrative. So also with the artwork, what I wanted to do is I wanted to also create a new NFT experience an NFT experience that also unlocks special features. So when you've got the auction, which is happening today, and it will be going on to the 29th of June, so please go to Terra Virtua's website at www.terravirtua.io to make your bid. But the exciting thing about this um, exhibition and this auction is that we're going to be releasing special features. So when you hit certain markers, we will, the first marker, when you hit it, um, the winner of the auction will get, uh, obviously, the NFT artwork, but they will also be getting a VIP uh, pass to Next, Change, Next Change's next blockchain event. The second marker, if, you, if the winner of the auction hits that, is they'll be able to personalize that image or their images into uh, the Africa blockchain. And by doing this, it allows you to tell your story within the Africa blockchain and what it means for maybe you personally or your company. And when we create that new piece, we want to make sure that it's really just the one of one. So we will burn the first NFT that was created. And if it then hits the final marker, then we will, I will be then telling your story in a personalized 2D animation. So it's really a generative piece of artwork. It's something that moves with the times, that is created in different ways, that is co-collaborative, and that also breaks the boundaries of how we see art, because that's also what NFT or digital art is doing. It's breaking the boundary of how we view art, how we experience art, and how we understand art. So I hope you guys have a fabulous time at this amazing summit. I'm really looking forward to some of the amazing conversations that are going to be happened and hear what um, some of the companies and people and individuals are doing to leap from frog Africa into this new freedom of understanding and empowerment. And I hope you join me in wishing everybody the best at the summit and wishing Africa the best the future it has to offer. Thank you so much. Please do follow me on all my social media channels. You can find me on LinkedIn at Amrita Seti and on Instagram at art.by.amrita or on Twitter at Art by Amrita. Do follow me for more updates and I look forward to hearing the results of the auction and who's going to be winning that final personalized 2D animation with Africa Blockchain.